Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I want to talk about colors inside Microsoft Word when using Visual Basic for applications that is using the macros. And I will use my previous tutorial as an example when I was just putting random characters with different colors. And I will use this as a base for today's tutorial. So let's start with a blank document and I will open the Visual Basic applications window with a previous code. It only takes five lines as you can see. We have a for loop going from, for example, 0 to, I don't know, 40. We set the font name to Windings 2. We set the text color object theme color, which is what we will be setting all the time today, to some random values going from 0 to 9. And then we type in a random character from 205 to 211, which is some kind of cross. So if I run this macro, I should get 40 different crosses with different style just because those are different clips and obviously they have a different colors but where do the colors come from they come from this drop down menu but how do i know which color is which so if i quickly change the uh, clip to be something different so i will say insert symbol more symbols and i will maybe use a symbol with more solid fill like this filled circle which is ascii code 152 so i will change the code to be not random character but character 152 and I may also add the empty space after this so I should get like a cir filled circles what I can do is instead of setting this object in color to be random one I can set it to be based on the counter and the object in color goes from 0 to 12 so if I change this to go from 0 to 11 there are 12 different options to be counter and actually i may remove the space for now if i run this i will make this a little bit bigger so if i open the drop down menu you will notice that four first four colors kind of looks the same but they are in the reversed order and then we have those one two three four sorry from this one one two three four five six different colors so blue orange gray sorry light gray blue blue orange gray yellow blue green and then we have two extra colors which are those one the blue one and the dark pink one whatever colors so where do they do those colors come from if i open the design ribbon and add colors customize colors here it's much more obvious which colors are used for the team and they are also in the right order so the first four colors are mainly used for text then we have six different accent colors like i've just uh, showed you and then we have two for hyperlinks for normal hyperlink and fold hyperlink it kind of makes sense to not use those hyperlink and follow the hyperlink just because they are often very different it doesn't it's not that obvious from this team just because those accent colors I kind of are kind of random as well. But if I change the theme to some more restricted palette, like the yellow one, for example, and open the customized colors again, you will notice that the accent colors are around yellow, you know, red, orange colors, but the hyperlink is blue and the fold hyperlink is like dark brown. So let's try to update our code to only use colors for accent colors. So if I count from top is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven eight nine so colors between four and nine so we can update our macro to set the color to be random from four to nine so four plus random times five if the random is zero the value is, is four if the random is one the value is nine and anything in between are the values in between four and nine so if i run this again i should get the nice looking colors which are kind of similar for each team except for like the crazy teams like the office ones so we know how to set the team color but if i open a drop down menu we are still dealing only with this top row of colors there are many more colors down here so how do i get to those colors if i quickly change the team to be something else like the blue green and i may delete everything and just set this color to be only one color for example color number nine if I select any character and open drop down menu, I do have this last color being selected. This is number nine. How do I get to those different shades? If I hold the mouse over any of those, I get the information saying this is lighter by 60%. There's actually a very easy way how to set this value inside the macro as well. 
So I type in selection dot font dot text color. I do have a property called tint and shade. This tint and shade property should be set to values between minus one and one. If it's set to zero, it does nothing. If it's set to positive value, it gets a lighter uh, color. If it's negative value, it's a darker color. So again, if I open the drop down menu and I want, for example, this color, which is lighter by 60%, I can set this to be 0.6 and I should get the exact same color as in the drop down menu. Obviously, we are not limited to just five different shades. We can set it to any number. So I can change the counter to go from 0 to, let's say, 20. And I will use this counter as a value for the 10 shade. So counter minus 10 will give us value from minus 10 to 10 and divided by 10 will give us a value from minus 1 to 1. So I should get a nice looking gradient going from pure black to pure white and everything in between is based on the team color. I can of course also not be this tight to be counter but a random value. So if I said random value this will give us value between 0 and 1. So it should be only lighter ones. If I will say random minus 1 it will be from minus 1 to 0, so only darker ones. Or I can say times 2 minus 1, which will give us number between minus 1 and 1, so both lighter ones and darker ones. I may also change the character to be, um, again, a random character. And this is still using only one color. We are still only dealing with this last color but different shades so if I want I can also edit a different or random color so again 4 plus random times 5 and I get as many as much colors as I want and that's probably it for today's tutorial that was not very interesting I know kind of boring but sometimes it's important to understand all the details and it's especially true for this topic because I'm using the object team color in almost every tutorial for the Visual Basic for applications. As for my other examples, I believe that for this like snowflake effect, I was only using lighter hues for the selected color with the blue team. For this one, I was probably using only the darker ones to match the dark background of the color. And that's it. Thanks for watching.